Hey, 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 good morning to each and every one of you. Happy, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day, guys. I'm having a wonderful morning thus far. The time is about 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. And I am out and about. I'm not going to be out long, y'all. Look, I had to repent this morning because I did say yesterday to my daughter, I'm not going nowhere tomorrow. I don't care what's on sale. I don't care this, that, and the other. I'm not going anywhere. But y'all... Y'all know that shoppers are liars, okay? So I had to repent and ask God to please forgive me, okay, for lying like that. But I do want to say, that's what this video, I'm going to uh, make this video about. And I'm not going to edit it, I don't think, by the way, because I'm out and about. And I just want to upload it without um, having to do any edits. So you get what you get. All right. Um... So that's kind of what I want to talk about on this video is shopping because <laughs> I see a lot of you are addressing the um, hoarderism, <laughs> the shopaholic. You're um, addressing all of those issues about your house and your um, concern with, you know, just overcrowding your house with things and not being able to get your house back organized and everything. Okay, so what I want to do, uh, well, what I want to talk about is... Um, putting limitations on your shopping according to your business and your needs. Now, I have did a video um, very similar to this and maybe have probably so going to say some of the things, same things I said in that video, but I do have new subscribers and then I have old subscribers that may not have seen that um, video. So, with all the shopping hauls, because I see all of the stuff coming through my YouTube um, news feed. Even though I'm not able to watch everything, I see everything coming through my news feed as suggested videos and everybody is shopping. Okay. That's the popular thing. Everybody is shopping. Okay. Some people are just shopping to be shopping because they are shopaholics. Some people are shopping because this is the way of life for their business. Some people are shopping because they're trying to get things um, to give away for holidays and this is the best time to get it when it's 80 70 90 percent off so different people are shopping for different reasons okay i want to say this it all looks exciting it looks it all looks amazing okay it all looks tempting um but at the end of the day you got to know what your needs are you got to know what your finances are and then you got to know what your storage abilities are okay you got to know what you're able to buy and store without it interfering with your personal home. you got to know um, what it is that you need for your particular business according to, um, according to the demand of your business, okay? So I know a lot of you see different people shopping. You see me shopping. You see LBE shopping. You see so many different people um, shopping on YouTube. But listen, guys, everybody's business is different. Everybody's needs are different. So you may see me loading up at Walmart with six carts of plush animals. If you know that you're not the type of business or your business isn't at the place or at the point where you need that many bears, why go out and shop and buy that many items if you're not going to be able to use them and they're just going to be sitting around your home collecting dust, causing arguments with your family, making your family think you crazy, making your husband want to put you outside, okay? Why do that if you know that you don't have the business that's calling for those type of um, hauls, right? So, and I'm basically talking to gift basket designers at this point, okay? I'm gonna, I know my channel originally was geared to, towards all different businesses. For those of you new following me, I have a boutique as well. Me and my son have a boutique and we have several other um, businesses as well. But my YouTube is pretty much geared towards gift basket designing, but I'm gonna start back dealing with other businesses as well, okay? But a lot of the principles that I teach can apply to many different businesses, okay? Um, so, um, make sure that you are um, accommodating for your business, okay? That you're not getting all excited and hyped about, because it can be so very exciting watching people get um, a thousand items for $30, <laughs> A thousand penny items, but at the end of the day, 
um, are you going to use a thousand items, right? Are you going to donate a thousand items? And I had to come to that conclusion with the penny shop and with the food. I don't eat hardly any of that stuff that ever pennies out. When my husband was living, um, he ate, a, you know, my husband loves sweets. And hey, I used to love them before I changed my lifestyle. Um, so, you know, when he was here, I could get stuff like that and it would get gone over a period of time. But now that my husband is not here, why would I go and, and buy up 50 boxes of Little Debbie cakes that go for a penny knowing that they just gonna sit at my house? Um, yes, you can donate them to churches. I have a church, I'm a pastor of a church. I can donate them to the church, but at the end of the day, you're not going to get all of that stuff and just, well, me person, I'm not gonna say you're not, cause some people do that. Me, I'll be like, I'll keep sitting the stuff at the door and I'll be like, okay, when I go to church, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this in the, um, I'm gonna put this in the car and give it to the kids. I'm gonna uh, put this in the car and drop it off at the shelter. Well, the drop off at the shelter never comes. And then when I take the stuff to the church, some of it gets gone, some of it don't. Then I'm stuck with, okay, what do I do with the rest of it? So. The thing I'm saying is, don't get caught up in the hype, okay? Don't get up, get caught up in the hype of shopping. Don't get caught up in the trends of what's trending on social media. If you need 50 bears, then buy 50 bears. But if you know for yourself that you're not gonna design uh, 50 or 100 gift baskets and those bears just gonna be sitting there, just get them for your, get what you need for yourself and leave the other ones for somebody else that maybe have a business like that or maybe have um, a um, nonprofit organization where they donate items. Um, do what works for you, okay? And not what's popular. I know, I know, I know. I teach you guys to clear the shelves and, and I live by that, clear the shelves. Um, if, if it's something that you really need or something you really can use. But at the end of the day, no need to clear the shelves if all you're gonna do is have all of this stuff sitting around your house looking like you need to be on the hoarder shelf, okay? Um, I shop like this because of the um, my business, what I need to accommodate for my business, okay? It's like I can't get enough. So that's why I shop. I'm not a shopaholic, to be honest with you guys, and you should be able to tell that from my everyday dress code. I'm not a shopper when it comes to clothes. Look, my handbag, I'm in Walmart yesterday buying handbags to resell for Mother's Day. But let me show you something. Look at Boss Lady Fee's pocketbook. I know it's crazy. I know it's ridiculous. I broke my pocketbook during um, Valentine's Day in the U-Haul trying to hurry up and pull my pocketbook up that was stuck in the seat and um, rip the whole doggone strap off. And guess what I've been doing ever since? Bringing my pocketbook and just leaving it in the car and grabbing my cars out. <laughs> But I'm saying that to say I'm not a personal shopaholic. I'm not the type of person that buy, put 25 handbags and put them in my closet and 35 pairs of shoes and put them in my closet. I'm not, I'm not her, okay? I'm not her. You'll see me with the same clothes on, repeat, repeat, repeat. Now they clean, but they're gonna be repeat, repeat, repeat because that's just the type of person that I am. Um, so make sure and very sure that you're just not shopping because it looks fun, it looks exciting. You're looking at Boss Lady Fee and she's buying all of this stuff. And then you gotta know what your finances look like, okay? I don't care if something goes 90% off. If you know you gotta pay your light bill, honey, and you are in jeopardy of your lights being cut off or you're in jeopardy of not buying groceries, you better go buy your groceries and you better go pay your light bill and think about the 90% off later, okay? That's what you need to do. So make sure that you are following the blueprint for your business and not the blueprint for other YouTubers, okay? Because every YouTuber, every business, every gift basket is business, every boutique is different, okay? Our needs are different. We have different accommodations. We have different needs. We have different wants, okay? So make sure that what you are doing is to tailor fit your needs for your business.
business, okay? I hope this helped, guys. I'm on my way to Walmart. I'm on my way to a couple of Dollar Generals that I didn't catch yesterday. I want to say this before I end the video. The video that I posted early this morning, which supposed to have uploaded yesterday, but I don't know what, my Wi-Fi is crazy. I'm really just giving them a free will donation because that Wi-Fi is not hitting on crap. But um, it's supposed to have uploaded last night or yesterday evening. Um, but what you saw on that video is nothing in comparison to what I got yesterday. Matter of fact, my truck still packed up and my living room is packed up. So that shows you how much stuff I got. So make sure you be on the lookout today. I was going to go live last night, but Boss Lady was absolutely too tired. I drove for 12 hours straight shopping, driving and shopping for 12 hours straight, guys. And when I got home, I was pooped, okay? I got some of the stuff out of the car, but I didn't get it all out. And I felt like it was no need to give you all a partial haul to just wait and give you the haul all together. So when I get home today, get everything out and get it somewhat organized, I will do either a video or a live and show you guys what um, I did come up with. But I want you to know that I did amazing, okay? I did amazing. And the, um, the um, I'll go more into detail with everything when I get on, um, when I do the video or the live. But I want to say the spark and a cider that I got from Family Dollar, because I seen a comment, somebody said, no, it, it wasn't 80, this ain't 87 cent, okay? Look, okay, I got plenty of things to do besides get on YouTube and just make up prices of items, okay? I, I got more to do. I'm trying to see is that receipt right here. Let me see. Yeah. Y'all probably can't see this. Martinelli Ciders 16... Where we at? I'm trying to find it, looking at it from back. What's hold on, y'all? Mm -hmm. Here we go. 16 at 87 cent. Okay. All right. I know some people get on YouTube and clout chase, but I'm not on YouTube to clout chase, okay? So if I give you some information, it's what I paid. It Does it cost it at your store? I don't know. But I do know that most family dollars are the same. Most dollar generals are the same. Um, if it goes 70% off at one, it's 70% off at the other, in spite of what you guys may think. I do know that miles vary with certain things, but when um, a certain percentage goes off, it's normally across the board, okay? I know a lot of people go by signs instead of scanning stuff or taking it to the register. Um, but Family Dollar, yesterday I went to Family Dollar stuff was 75% off. I went the day before that, which was yesterday was Tuesday. I went Monday, it was 50% off. So perhaps you went when it was 50% off. I shop day by day. Like I might go Monday, I might turn around and go Tuesday because I'm watching to see when things drop. So they were 87 cents. Okay. So check your local family dollar to see if you can find the Martinelli's. Um, they'll probably be 90% off soon, but I went ahead and grabbed some at 75 because I normally use quite a bit of those for uh, Mother's Day. And why not go buy a full-size bottle of Martinelli um, instead of going and buying them little bitty bottles for $1.25? Okay, it just makes sense. All right, so get out here. Get out here and look, guys, all right? Hope you like this video. If you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye.